Hello Internet, I'm Kevin, and in this video I want to show you how to make concrete weight plates. The gyms are shutting down again, but that doesn't mean the gain strain has to stop. Today I'm going to show you how to make concrete weight plates so you can work out at home. We're going to break the video down into five sections. 1. Plate mold. 2. Plate sleeve. 3. Concrete. 4. Plate extraction. 5. Grinding surfaces. This is the plate mold. We'll be using this to get the circular shape of the concrete plates. So we pour the concrete into here, we wait for it to dry, and then we extract the plate. The mold is made of three basic materials. The base is made of plywood. Just make sure to get three quarters of an inch or thicker, otherwise it'll be too brittle. The cylinder walls are made from aluminum flashing. Aluminum flashing is typically packaged in a long, wide roll, so you'll have to cut it down to size. To cut aluminum flashing, you want to use the score and snap method. With the utility knife, score the surface a few times. This will weaken the metal so that you can take the aluminum flashing and bend it back and forth until it snaps. Cut your aluminum flashing into a long rectangular strip like this. Then take the ends and shape it into a cylinder. Once you have this shape, take aluminum tape and wrap it around a couple of times until it can hold its shape. Once you have your cylinder shape with the aluminum flashing, center it on your plywood and glue it together. To attach the aluminum to the plywood, use construction glue. You'll notice that the mold has two air holes, which make removing the plate from the mold a lot easier. You need to apply a release agent to prevent the concrete from sticking to it. Get a heavy duty spray bottle and fill it with cheap cooking oil. Then spray the base and the inner walls of the mold. Use a 2 inch diameter tube for the plate sleeve. It can either be ABS pipe or PVC. Before you can start mixing the concrete, there's a couple of requirements. You need a container to put the concrete in. You can use either a home hardware bucket, a cement mixing tub, or really any large container. When it comes to actually mixing the concrete, I highly recommend that you invest in one of these mixing paddles. To use the mixing paddle, you need a drill as well. See if your home hardware store has a commercial grade premix. This typically is stronger than the regular concrete and has a higher PSI. We use fiber strand reinforcement for the concrete which hold it together. Let's start mixing. Always add water first. Then place the fibers into the water and mix it in. Slowly add little bits of concrete and make sure to mix it really well every time. For water to cement ratio, follow the instructions on your concrete bag. Once you have the concrete mixed, pour it into the mold. If the concrete isn't pouring out easily, try to add a little bit more water. If it's too watery, add a little bit more concrete. You want the concrete to easily flow out of the bucket. Once you set aside your plates, either on a shelf or a table, shake them a little bit to get rid of the trapped air bubbles inside of the concrete. Or if you have a reciprocal saw, you can just lay that down against the mold and vibrate the mold. Make sure to leave the concrete in the mold for at least 12 hours for it to harden enough, but don't leave it in longer than 24 hours because then it'll be too hard and it'll be really difficult to separate it from the mold. Here's how you extract the concrete plate from the mold. You're going to need two pieces of wood, stand them up on a table, then lift the mold and place it down on the edges of the board. Tilt the mold upside down. You want to place something underneath the mold, then lightly tap against the back side of the mold with a mallet until the plate falls out. Let the extracted plate harden for another 24 hours before moving on to the next step. Before we can grind the surfaces, we need a couple of tools. Angle grinder, a diamond grinding wheel attachment, dust shroud, a vacuum. Now I'll be the first to admit that if you don't have these tools, they can be quite a steep investment. Which is why this final step isn't actually mandatory. You're going to need one and a half inch ABS pipe like this. Then secure it to a table or a surface with clamps. Then take the plate you want to grind and slide it onto the ABS pipe. Start spinning the plate by hand. While the plate is still spinning, 
you want to turn the grinder on and lower it onto the plate. The spinning force will propel the plate to continue to spin onto the ABS pipe. Slide the grinder up and down the plate side until the whole surface is grinded. Then tilt your angle grinder and continue to do the same thing for the edges. You can start from the top of the pile, taking your angle grinder and slowly going all the way around until you have a smooth surface. Hey folks, I'm Kevin and I created a local business manufacturing and selling these concrete weight plates from my backyard. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step instruction manual with pictures for everything covered in this video, head on over to my website and get my ebook. You'll find exact mold measurements for five plate sizes, as well as the tools and materials required for every section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want more DIY gym content, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day.